Oh, what's going on, pretty people? I'm your host, Pretty Boy King, and today we're back with another episode of Fallout 4 Permadeath. As you can see, my weapon. Oh, okay. As you can see, we have a new character. And I was going to base him off Francis Underwood, which I am doing, but uh, I was making him in the character creation, and he does not. The, I have a mod that changes the hairstyle that he has. Uh, so the hairstyle that I could have gotten in the vanilla game, the mod changed. So I just made like a younger, sexier Frank Underwood. Not saying that Kevin Spacey isn't sexy, but. Uh, yeah, he is Francis Underwood in the Apocalypse. He's young, hip. He's like a, a modern Fran I guess Francis Underwood is, you know, modern, but you, you know what I mean. But, oh, here are his stats. Low strength, because, I mean, it's even mentioned in the show that, you know, he's physically lacking. His perception is high because he knows what to do. He's very keen. Endurance, same thing. I mean, it's building up when he's running with his wife and stuff. That was, like, super early in the show. Charisma, super high because he has to control everything. Intelligence, super smart. Agility, lacking. Luck, not so much because he paves his own path. And Francis Underwood's mission slash goal slash dream in Fallout 4 Permadeath is... Ooh, yeah. Is to... Uh, find seven settlements, save them, have them under his control, and make a nation of Frank. That is his goal. So to start that, so essentially we're becoming the, um, the general of the Minutemen. But we're just like a total dick too. Because we're, we're, again, we roleplay as Francis Underwood. Uh, we're gonna ignore the dog because he ends up killing dogs in the show. Uh, spoilers for if you haven't seen the show, this is your only warning. Spoilers because I'm gonna be talking about it because I mean I'm playing as post-apocalyptic Francis Underwood. We're gonna avoid the dog. Yeah, this is his character, and his goal is to you know get seven settlements under his control and make a nation of Frank. Okay, there are like blood bugs right there, so I'm just gonna walk by. And so, like, the build that I'm kind of thinking is, uh, Fudge Muppet, I believe is what they're called. Um, oh god, I'm afraid of mines right now. Fudge Muppet. Oh yeah, I can look for stiff. Fudge Muppet made a build called the Diplomat, where, you know, that you can pacify monsters and stuff. Uh, from your charisma being high and, like, pointing your gun at them. I've never done that before, so that's... Uh, what Francis is gonna do because I mean, that's kind of what he does in the show. I know how to use this. You silly goober. So yeah, this is our eighth character. So I am 0 for 7 in permadeath. I'm so upset about Claudia and I'm so upset about Pretty. Pretty one was jank. Come on. Come on. Yeah, once we complete 10 or have 10 die- Okay, how is this not- This is literally- Are you- Really? Thank you. Wow. I don't know. Stop. But, um, I forgot what I was saying now. I apologize. Come on, you can jump that truck. Oh yeah, this is our eighth character, and after ten characters, like I've said earlier, is when the season and when season one of Permadeath ends. And what I just realized, the patch for survival mode is coming out this week. Ooh yeah, I might do a run through. I don't know, cause I'm gonna do a new uh, let's play after season one concludes. And that's gonna be, where does this go? And I'm thinking about doing Shadows of Mortar because I actually got all the achievements in that game and the game was just amazing. That game was so good. And it's just so fun. I've been wanting to play it because uh, G-Tubs and I this weekend were acting. 
we were acting out uh, Shadows of Mordor. I was, uh, uh, whatever, the, I was Talon, and then he was, like, all the orcs, and then Celebrimbor and stuff. Oh, that's such a good, oh, that's such a good game. I think I'm going to do that. That's going to be the new Let's Play. I might also do a Nuzlocke. Oh, because I'm also running Monster Hunter 4 at the same time. I feel like I've been in here before. Oh, wow, that goes high up. Okay, we're gonna... I feel like there's a bobblehead at the top of this. I remember watching in Kublai Khan's uh, Permadeath, who, by, by the way, is an awesome YouTuber, so check him out if you ever get the chance. Oh, how do you... How do you jump? Okay, how... Okay, I need to go into first person. I will fall. Okay, that goes to the roof. Okay, I gotta go in first person, so... Oh, fighting over this. No way I could pick this. Dang. You're weak, Francis. You're weak. But yeah, the, the House of Cards show is just... It's so dark. I thought Breaking Bad was dark, and it is. It's really dark. But... Uh, House of Cards is like... It, it, like, both shows have plausibility. Oh, look at that, ninja skills. Uh, both shows have extreme plausibility. Like, I, like after watching House of Cards, I did not want to vote in the primaries. But for... <laughs> I did anyway. But... It just, it's just, it's messed up. It literally is messed up. And I can see... Um, it totally happened. Like, totally, that's what politics is. I'm meant to go on the roof. That's fine. Well, maybe I should go back. I don't know. Maybe. Huh. This is what I get for having mods on this long loading screen. Should I go back? Ah, uh, nah, I'm already falling through. I don't remember this part. Uh, is this where the death clock comes out? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so, like I said before, we have to, you know, rescue Preston and all that jazz because I'm becoming the general of the Minuteman, and it's just easier to... Ooh, cap stash. It's just easier to get settlements that way. We need seven, because seven's my favorite number, and we're just going to assume it's Frank's favorite number, too. I also need a new headset. Oh, I need a new headset and a new webcam. Bad. Hashtag send pretty that shit. Sorry guys, trying to keep my trying to keep channel PG. I've been doing a pretty good job, but occasionally I just the only way to say say what I mean is using a little swear. Uh these this shotgun no no joke sucks. I do like this gun. I was using this when I... Claudia. Good Claudia. But I'm gonna try to specialize in just pistols. Because it's the subtle, subtle weapon, I believe. And plus I want to use like a different weapon for each character at least. Die, fool! Oh. Right in the back. Okay. Don't think there's anyone. Hey, oh, that man. On the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Where's this laser musket you speak of? Uh -huh. All right. I just got a ton of stuff. Harness? Why does that only affect my eyes? I don't know. Yeah, we got enough leather stuff. I don't think Francis would welding goggles. No, you just need Oh no, I already have eyeglasses on. Did I pick up any good weapons? Pipe pistol? No. You know what? I'm gonna try using this again. I'm gonna try using it again! Yeah, we'll put it up. No, we gotta put, uh... Okay. We gotta put... 
Molotov. This is just how I always play Fallout. It just makes sense to me. I like being organized. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no, I guess I could have followed through with that. Okay. So, let's look down on our perk tree. Okay, now, what's the intimidation? Okay, here we go. Charisma. What's my charisma at? I can get... Oh, I need to get charisma higher. So everyone turns to your able to set supply lines. Oh, that might be useful later on. Oh, I kind of like this one. I'm Lone Wanderer. Yo, know, let's start with this one. Because the next one is level 17. I do need to get charisma up. to 10... I can get a Charisma Bobblehead. I don't know where that is at, though. So I'll have to look that up. Alright, auto-saving. Awesome. Okay, yep. As I said before, we gotta follow this quest so we can get Preston. <sighs> really hope... Uh... <sighs> Francis succeeds. Oh, that is not a doorway. Neither is that. Optional. Oh. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh, I missed. Come on, this one's gonna hit. Ka jam! Baked. Jellified. I want to play Rick Grimes as my next character. No, I'm thinking Rick Grimes is going to be the last character. Yo, watch... Uh, um, yesterday's episode. Oh, man. Spoiler alert. Uh, Dwight shoots Daryl. We don't know where or if Daryl is still alive. I hate Dwight. Always hate him in the comics. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, and then the... In the promo? Oh my god, the promo was so intense. Like, when it showed the back of Negan and the scene where... The, oh, the character... Okay, because in the comic, spoiler alert... Glenn gets his head bashed in by Negan with a baseball bat. With a... I forget what the baseball bat's name is. But yeah, he get bashed in. Like, freaking bashed in. And... Um... Yeah. And how they shot it and, like, how the brief images looked, like, I got goosebumps hard. Like, I had chills. Because Negan is the group's biggest threat. Literally, the hands down their biggest threat. They... Oh, I am, like, terrified, because I know what happens in the comics, though it might change. Oh, okay, I just saw bobby pins. I did. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. See, I just saw him again. Okay, we're gonna just copy- I don't like stuck, okay. So I was swooping, I was like, yo, what's up, guys? No? Welcome to the channel. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. Uh, want in. Okay. If you guys don't know how to hack, watch and learn. So you gotta hit the parentheses. Like, you gotta go line by line. See, you got one right there. Boom. Alright, this is what I do. I just go through all of them. We'll just go fast. Boom, there's one. Hey, Carrie, what's going on, girl? Boom, shakalaka. Boom, right there. Ooh, there's a big one. Look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta remember to take a picture of Francis to add as a thumbnail. Boom, look at this. Look at this. Nope. Nope. 
no, 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 no. I think I got all of them. No, there has to be the one more. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, there's only one word left. Why didn't I notice that? Wow. Man. Boom. That was super easy. But yeah, the, the promo was intense, and like that whole the All Out War arc in the comics, which is what the arc is called, where focus on Negan and the Saviors, it's just, it's like, wow. Like, Robert Kirkman really outdid himself, like, because when I, I, I read all the comics up till the last issue of the All Out War arc, so I'm, I believe G-Tubbs told me I was, like, 20 issues behind, more than that, I think, like, a couple of years worth, so, like, maybe 20, 30. Somebody's out to and I really like this gun. If I remember to charge it. Fucking hide from me! You're dead. I just bashed his face in. Just think about it. I literally just bashed his face in. But yeah, uh, G Tub told me I was 20, 30 issues behind, and it picked up and got really good because. Oh, I thought that was going to give me a perk. Because um, while I was reading the All Out War arc, well, before it, I was thinking, how are they, they've done the Governor, you know, they did the Hunter arc, which is my favorite arc in the series. Like, what more can they do in a zombie apocalypse? And then they add the whole Alexandria, the Hilltop, the Saviors, then Negan, and I just thought, dang. And then after the All Out War arc, I just thought, you know, what, what, what more can they, what more can they do? And apparently, they are still surprising, so, because uh, I remember Robert Kirkman, Kirk Corkman, Robert Kirkman being quoted saying he wants this, the book to run forever, like, so, that's why I was always so concerned, but apparently he's just, and it still made it entertaining, so I need to catch up. So I started rereading it after last night's episode, because I got my dad the Compedium to book one, and I was at, at my mom's, watching my little, uh, my little sister, which I do uh, every Sunday. Sibling bonding time. And uh, I started watching it, because I read them all digitally, and then just reading, I just really love comics a lot. I really want to publish a series, so that's why I'm writing one right now. Oh, did I kill them all? That was fast. Oh. Okay. I also realized I was in first person the whole time, so I apologize. Man, oh, I don't oh. know who you are, but Mag. Your impeccable. Excellent. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe. Yo, what's up, Press? Nope. I really do not like Preston. Minutemen? The reason why I don't like Preston is not because he's like, hey, here's a settlement, here's a settlement, here's a settlement, so like my quest log never gets completed really. That's kind of annoying, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last minute. I was walking around with Preston. I have problems, Garvey. Walking around for like the first 20 hours of the game, because like the first 20 hours of the game, I was just crafting sanctuary, making it into like my own Alexandria. I was just doing like like settlement building, like it literally was just crafting things. And uh, business. All right, fine. Excuse me. And so he followed me around for like 20 hours, and then he just like became infatuated with me. Yesterday there were eight. And it, we go into a, a cellar at Sanctuary, go down, and then he's like, General, I wanted to tell you I, I love you. Like, he waits till we're in a cellar together, corners me so he's blocking the exit. It was just so creepy. And Sky was next to me, and we were laughing the whole time, and it just became an inside joke now. Tough break. You don't know the half. Gosh. 
it was it was hilarious. Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Hilarious. Raiders proved us wrong, but well, we do have one. He's just always been a creepy pervert to me. Let's hear it. Sturgis. So after this conversation, uh, I'm gonna call this episode good because we're actually roof. 20 minutes in. Old school, pre-war. Uh, ooh, to my chest. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously I like goodie. how this guy we're has his own little cutscene bit and dialogue, but then afterwards, power armor. nope, that's Military all. Issue. That's all. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. You don't Protection know me. With an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? It's a suicide, it's a suicide mission. mission. Look, new guy. Don't know what cave you're from, don't care. But you need to shake off the cobwebs and smell the cordite. Cordite? They're all dead anyway. So yeah. here's the deal. That armor's out of juice. Probably juice. has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. Already got it. But we're a bit Already got stuck. the fusion core. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Already got it. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. Look at this person pacing in the background. Oh like, God, I can't believe I'm here. Thing. Crap, I'm it's down stuck. in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Uh, I already got it. Actually, I actually already, I already grabbed, grabbed the fusion core. We're, We're set. set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Uh, I do about three, four of these episodes every day. And if you want to start from the beginning, there's a whole playlist. And I want to try throwing out an annotation somewhere, but I, some of that stuff confuses me. But we'll figure it out. It. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your host, Pretty Boy King, and you all stay pretty out there.